What is up, guys? Christian Scott here, and we're back with another video. And now we're getting out of games and going into the real life. I picked up this thing at Academy for about 17 bucks, and it is amazing. And I'm going to do a review on it. Uh, wow. haven't done a review ever. So, it is called the Pulse M74DP, as you can see. Mini carbine, uh, spring, and fully automatic. Pretty beast mode little gun here. You can just click forward, as I have it now, for bolt action. Or you can just flip it back for fully automatic. So, I'm going to load it up. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see anything. But here's how you load it. You just pop this right here. Hold on. There we go. You just pop this little thing off right here. There's a little hole right here that you enter your bullets. Now I've got 0.12 grams premium ammo, 10,000 of them, and a big awesome thing right here. And yeah, in case you do want to see me load this thing up, I guess I'll just set down the camera so you can see it. Open this up. It's probably going to spill everywhere because I don't have a automatic reloader or like a speed reloader. So we'll just fill this up. Let it fall in. Open it up again. Fill it up some more. Some more. Its clip size is utterly amazing. You can hold up to 250 bullets without reloading. That's pretty mediocre, but that's good without having to, like, stop and pull the spring back and reload. This is actually a really good gun, and I would recommend it for an airsoft battle. So, I'll take you outside, dun 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 dun, dun, dun. and we're gonna shoot the thing. Dun 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 dun. Why am I doing dramatic music? I don't know. No, 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 no. Whatever. Okay. Let me just get outside here. Whoa! This is probably the lamest tutorial you'll ever see. But, whatever. So, for now, I'm going to show you the fully automatic. You have to have four AA batteries in the bottom here. It's good luck. Pop open the bottom, pop in your four batteries. Don't really have to show you that. Pretty simple. Uh, here's my Target Arena thing that I've built. Uh, Fully automatic mode. Let's go see what we did to this guy's face. Uh, it's running out of batteries because I've been using it the last hour trying to get to know the gun. But dang, we screwed him up pretty good. Let's set down the gun here and see if we can get some bullets out of here. Uh, nope. But we've got these small targets. We didn't hit any of these. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. We hit twice there. And this target is for a bow and arrow. I'll do a review on my bow a little bit later. So now we'll get on to the... Sorry, it's got a little bug here. I'll just have to kink this out. Uh, where am I going to set you? I guess you can go right here. Nope, that's not going to work. Alright, you're going to see nothing for a few seconds. Sorry, well, okay, here you go. So, wait, there you go. You just have to work out the bugs. There we go. Bolt action. Pretty simple. Pull back the bolt. Let the bullet go in the chamber. You know, but that's not what we're about here. My bad. Ugh. It's hard holding a gun and a camera. Okay, so... We like the fully automatic. As you can hear it, it's getting slower and slower and the fire rates is getting a little bit slower. The FPS is getting a little bit lower. As you can see, this is a little bit dangerous here. Huh. 
He's a little destroyed. Focus. Focus. He's a little destroyed. Oh, God, I got shot there. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Ooh, that was going all around me. Call of Duty mode, activate that. Hey, Bob. Oh, yeah. Beast mode. So, I would say on a scale 1 to 10, 0 being a uh, utterly horrible gun that I would never recommend, 10 being the best airsoft gun I would recommend, this would be a 6. Yes, I'm rating it a 6 because of its ammo capacity. I could just let this thing go and go and go and go and go. And never, whoa, I never have any problems with it. It is really, really good. I really enjoy it already. Small, compact. Like I said, if you missed what it was, just go back to the beginning and check the name of it. Go to your local uh, academy, pick it up. Uh, it's by Crossman. Really, really well made, I could say. It's got a few bugs with switching from uh, bolt, uh, not bolt, um spring to auto battery it's got a little bit of a glitch there uh i don't like the its scope because i was really hoping that you could see through here but you can't this is only for reloading purposes but it does have uh iron sights these two places uh i guess it's good but i really wanted to be able to see out this pretty good iron sight or out this which was a little bit disappointing uh, I was kind of wanting to be able to fill up this clip, but no, it fills up here, but it, it does hold 250. Pretty good. It's a spring. is a, It's pretty good. You just I'm not going to pull it back now because it's safe. And uh, it'll bug out the full auto. Like I said, four AA batteries. Not bad. Um, it won't last you a long time if you're just like open firing like this. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting the guy's house. <laughs> Over me. I'm out of ammo now, but as you can tell, it's getting really slow now. Uh, I need to go refill the batteries. Double reload, I'm out of ammo and need to reload the batteries. So yeah, it won't last you forever, the batteries, but if you've got batteries and you're up for some fun, I would, uh, for an airsoft battle, it's, uh, it's 170 FPS, which... Mm, is why I rated it a 6. It would have been a 7 or an 8 if it had a higher FPS. But 170 isn't the worst. I've seen much, much worse than this. Uh, but it's not my like 1,200 FPS machine gun that I used in the Call of Duty in real life camping video. Uh, which is crazy freaking... No, it's more like 1,600 FPS. Which is amazing. This is 170 FPS. It'll get the job done. Fire automatic. Bolt action when you need it. A uh, pretty handy little deal. I, I would guess you could use it as a sidearm. Not a sidearm. Or like your secondary. If you run out of ammo on your... I guess... Your 1600 FPS gun that you're using as your primary. You could use this. Like I said, it's handheld. I'll show you. In the hand. That's about how big it is. It can be used two-handed for... A little bit better aim. Kind of looks like an ache. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but really good for uh, dual hands, better grip, and everything. This is a little bit of a long tutorial on one gun. Uh, I'll be doing some other tutorials, be doing some videos since my computer broke. Sorry for the voice. I mean, I swear I don't have a microphone on here, it's just a freaking iPad. So, I'm doing the best I can, guys. I really don't want my channel to fail, not being able to record games. I really just want to get you content, whatever you like. If you like these little gun tutorials, it's the only... This, well, my other gun, I kind of lost something that was important to it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, I did. And I can't do a review on the 1600 because it's broken, really old. Not really old. It's about a year. I got it last Christmas. Really, really handy, though. Get the job done. Doesn't have the largest clip. I mean, the clip will hold up to like 500 bullets, but it's got the little pull the spring down and load like 20 into it. 
So, hmm. Whatever, but this is really good. I really do like this. Cactus agrees with me, and my hot tub also agrees. Hot tub and cactus, they both agree that this is a 6 out of 10. Well, no, I'll say 8 out of 15. 8 out of 15, no, no. No, no, I won't do it that bad. 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10 is really good for uh, any needs that you have. So, yeah, this has been Crushing Skies with this first gun tutorial. If you want more stuff like this, more tutorials, more anything, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. So, this has been Crushing Skies. Crush out. See you all next time.